What's up LEGO fans, welcome back, Alex here. In this video, I will be showing you how to build an angle display for your Porsche 911 Targa or Turbo. So here are all the pieces that we need to complete our angled display. Now color is not going to be super important here. Uh, a lot of these are going to be hidden underneath the vehicle because it is a display stand for it. Uh, but ideally they would all be white or a combination of white and black pieces. Uh, so this is my combination as long as yours is identical and far as pieces go, we'll be able to accomplish the same design. That being said, let's take a look at the uh, pieces specifically. There's five of these Technic uh, bricks. They're one by 16 and then you have two by 16 uh, white plates. You have the five hold uh, Technic beam, uh, two of those and then two of the three hold Technic beams, four one by four plates, four one by two plates, four two by two plates, and then finally we have the eight black Technic pins. We'll start with the base of our build. We'll take one of these uh, plates right here and one of these as well. And this is going to go on the front of it right here, like so. And then we're going to take the other two beams right here. This is all going to be more visible at the front. This is our front of the of the display, so that's going to be there. And then what we're going to do is put this guy at the back here. So that kind of works as a stabilizer. That's all that really is. So that actually would be optional if you don't want if you don't have that. Then we're going to build the legs on this thing. And uh, I'm going to put this up by two bricks high on each uh, end of this thing. Whoops there and then we'll take our one by twos on this corner this is the back corner here all right there we go so there is our base next we're going to grab these these are going to be the arms that actually hold the vehicle so we're going to get one of these uh, black technic pins put at the very end and we're going to place it right here so that goes into it by three holes and we'll do the other side as well one, two, three, put that in there. Here we go. And now you're, you're going to see why we had to create these legs because these bricks, because they're Technic bricks, they actually poke out a little bit here when they're on an angle. And we didn't want that actually pushing down on the ground. So we had to make sure that that was going to clear it as it was sitting flat on the surface. Next, we're going to use a lot of these Technic pins here. Move these guys out of the way a little bit. So first off, we're going to place this thing uh, with the five holes in between them. So we're going to count five holes. One, two, three, four, five. So that's going to go right there. Same thing on the other side. Match it up. The other pin is going to go on this side of this Technic brick. We're going to count six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place it just beneath there so we have six available holes above it. Same thing on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. We're gonna take our black Technic beams, put those on both sides, and take our final two Technic pins and put them on the other side or other end of the small Technic beams. And then what we're gonna do is just take our final Technic beams and just connect the dots like so and pull it back like this so it rests against that brick right there. Other side. Get that guy. There we go. Cool. And it is possible to flip it up this way if you want a more, uh, a different angle on your display. That is a possibility. Or of course you can always just change the, uh, the position of the holes. Okay, now lastly we have these uh, four, uh, one by four uh, bricks. And we're gonna put these at the very top here like that. And then these last two, we're going to count four bricks uh, from the bottom of it. So we're going to two, three, four. I'm going to place it right there on both sides. And that makes sure that we have the optimal position of where it connects underneath your Porsche. Uh, and also it helps because we need to push the Porsche away from the display a little bit. Otherwise the rear wheel hits this a little bit. Uh, so that'll help it push up a little bit. So that is our angle display. Let's go ahead and put our Porsche on it and see how it looks. So underneath our Porsche, thank goodness, it's very easy uh, to make connections to this thing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the top of our display here. We're going to match it up to this Technic brick right here, to that one right there, that black line. So we're going to take this, match it up like so on the top, and then the other side there. Okay. Now carefully, we'll push the other sides in, the bottom ones in, like so, and then let it down. There we go. Okay, so that's how it should look underneath all the connections there. Just kind of see where that's all connecting. Should be nice and even. 
Okay, so let's turn this thing around and see what it looks like. Now you'll notice the door is nice and open here. What's nice about this is that you can close this thing and it stays closed. Gravity doesn't pull it open, unlike the DB5 that always flies open for me. So you don't have to put any kind of element underneath it to hold the door shut. So that is it. Now you'll notice that we kind of have this ugly facade right here. And you're probably thinking, why don't we just use like a solid brick instead of the Technic? Well, that is because I wanted to kind of put some decoration on this and I'll show you what I mean. So I got my drawer full of uh, little Technic goodies here pins and whatnot. Let me take a few of these little guys out. I don't know their names, but uh, I'm going to stick one right here, another one right here, another one about, difference. I think it's three. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong, but we'll find out. And then I'm going to get a couple of my um, uh, black uh, tiles here. I have one here. I'm going to put that right there along it. Let me see if I can find another one here. Uh, I found one, but it's, oh, here's one. Here's going. I found a dirty one. I want a nice shiny one. There we are. There, it's not quite as ugly. Uh, and of course you guys can, you know, go crazy with this and, and modify it. I'm, this is certainly not the best display out there for an angle display, uh, but it's pretty basic setup. It does the job. So let's go ahead and put it on the shelf and see what it looks like next to uh, the other displayed uh, vehicles. As I was putting this on the shelf, I thought, gosh, something else is missing, but what is it? And I looked at that blank area there in the top, that empty shelf, if you will, and I thought, I gotta put something there, but what? So I decided to put the word turbo, right? It worked out pretty good. I was looking at all my shelves. I pulled down a lot of the uh, the white and the black elements uh, to see if I could figure this out. And it took about a good 20 to 25 minutes to, to figure it out. Uh, but the end result looks pretty good. I did not have the camera running, sorry, uh, but uh, that is the end result. So now, now I think I'm ready to put this up on the shelf. And we are finally done with this display. And here it is, and it looks really, really good. I like that uh, you can now see the word turbo a lot better as it's uh, contrasted against the uh, side of the uh, porch there. Definitely spent a lot more time on this angle display than uh, most other ones, I will be honest there. But all the other ones, you can see the design on each and every one of these is very different. Every time I do this, um, I look through what I have in storage and figure out what's gonna work out best. It does help, honestly, if you have Technic elements that does uh, create great angles, get, gets you that uh, good triangle build uh, that you can put together and then do a lot of your trial and error on these displays. In fact, let me turn around here and show you some other angle displays here. Got the uh, the tumbler on one and the uh, Batmobile. This needed more robust ones. If you wanna see the video on that, I do have a video on my channel, just uh, search that up. And then of course here we have the 911 RSR. That definitely needs uh, to have the, uh, the angle display because it's high up there. And if it were just sitting on its wheels, well, you'd miss out on a lot of the fun features. All right, guys, that is it for now. Hopefully that helps out uh, some of you to uh, see if um, building an angle display will work out for you. Uh, I definitely like them. As you can see, the end result is pretty fun and it's always a kind of a fun challenge as well. In any case, hope that helped and we'll have some more fun stuff for you guys here again in the future. Until then, you guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.